Yes, I am Titus Seilhammer. I'm the fishery specialist here at Wisconsin Sea Grant. I work a lot with uh, the commercial fisheries out in uh, the Great Lakes, but I've also been working with the farm-raised uh, fish industry in Wisconsin as well, the aquaculture. So really I've got, uh, if you've got questions, I'm gonna do my best to answer them. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna make a, a fairly simple recipe uh, using this. And this is, and I'll bring it up nice and close. So this is actually a chunk of smoked Lake Whitefish. And I bought this today. It's uh, locally sourced uh, from Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Um, this is, uh, you know, basically we've got the bones in here. So it's just kind of cut across that fish. Uh, there's actually a, a pectoral fin right here as well. So, um, you know, this is one of the ways you might uh, see a commercially caught fish, uh, but you can also uh, look for, you know, whitefish as uh, boneless fillets that are then smoked. Um, lots of options. Uh, the, the place that I buy my fish, they also smoke, uh, they smoke salmon. Uh, they smoke ciscos, they smoke carp, they smoke a lot of different fish. Um, you know, smoking is a nice uh, way to add, add value to these uh, commercial fishers and to the fish processors as well, because, you know, this, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into this. Uh, Jeff, cover that a bit. You know, the first kind of step in the smoking process is that brining. So that's, you know, part of the preservation uh, process here is, is getting that salt into the flesh that helps preserve it. And then it goes into the, the smoker, um, you know, at, at uh, the place where I got this, they've got a, a big massive smoker, they roll the fish in and uh, you know, these whole trays full of fish and they all get smoked at once. And, you know, they bring that temperature up to 140 uh, and then, you know, that fish is ready to go. Usually has a shelf life of two to three weeks once it's smoked. So. Um, you know, this is nice and fresh. It's nice and juicy. It's a fat, fat piece of whitefish, which is really nice. Uh, scales are on it too. So, uh, you know, a lot of this recipe is just kind of processing this fish. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start peeling the skin off. And I like to just, you know, take all the skin off in one. And it tends to come off pretty easily. Uh, so it's just peeling away. We move, we go across the back. And then we peel it down. Uh, like that. And then the skin basically all comes off uh, in one big piece. And then we have, you can see the flesh underneath here. Um, and, you know, it's got that kind of pink coloration to it. So this is, you know, that's what you get with smoked, smoked fish. There's that kind of this fat running along the back of the fish as well. So, you know, we can say, hey, this is a pretty healthy white fish. Um, and we got some bones coming out with that. And, you know, Basically, when we're looking at this, we've got kind of above the backbone, there's these really nice meaty chunks of meat here. And then along the ribs, there's kind of a thinner, uh, a thinner piece of uh, meat there as well. So what I like to do is you can actually along this lateral line here, you can start, uh, you know, this oh, such a nice piece of fish and it actually comes out. You can see it's sort of separating away from that backbone. And then it is... I'm actually peeling it away and these uh, bones are coming out. And these are the, the bones off the spine uh, are, you know, right out here. So these are, you know, sticking to the backbone and they are not getting into my nice, uh, nice chunk here of uh, smoked fish. And then I'm going to take off that other side. So again, it's going to kind of peel away uh, this darker meat along the lateral line. Uh, you know, that has, can have a kind of a fishier flavor and you might want to take that off if you don't want to, you know, that kind of fishy, fishy taste. And then we're going to peel this one off as well. And those bones are going to just stay right attached to that backbone. Um, and we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then we have these uh, sort of two thinner pieces that are right along the ribs and the ribs are really, really thick bones. And you can kind of peel these so if you start from the bottom, you can actually get under this uh, skin and start peeling that meat away. And those bones should stay uh, attached to that uh, abdomen uh, lining. And some of these bones are coming off. So we wanna watch out for those. Um, you know, the advantage of buying these uh, boneless fillets is that you don't have to deal with bones. Um, and, you know, definitely if you're putting into a dip, you want to pull all those bones out. You don't want to get a surprise 
Um, if you are, you know, a lot of people will buy a chunk of fish like this. They can put it out on a plate and, you know, people can just, if you're at a party, you can walk around, uh, pick, pick at that meat and uh, pull out, pull out some of that uh, meat, look for the bones and then avoid those. So I've got some really, you know, that's a rib bone right there. And, you know, you can see how, how large that is. So we're going to uh, just kind of pick our way through there. And then as we, you know, dig through these, so I, I already went through one, one of these chunks earlier, and you can kind of break it up into chunks, keep an eye out for bones as you do that. Uh, and then you can pick those out as you go. And there's that nice, uh, nice meaty piece from the back. And, you know, here you've got a lot of, uh, you've got a choice to make. You can, you know, really break the meat down into small pieces. Um, I like a, a larger chunk of meat. You know, I kind of want to taste that I'm eating smoked fish here. Um, and, you know, you can really smell the smoke uh, with this, this smoked fish. So, um, you know, I don't know what Jeff would say. He's, he, you know, kind of referred to the old days of over smoked fish. And, you know, I think this is uh, smoked just the right amount uh, where it's still, uh, it's still nice and uh, moist. It's a moist uh, piece of smoked fish. And if you kind of over smoke it, the risk you have there is that you're going to end up with a really dried out uh, piece of fish. So um, I'm just breaking this down, picking out a few bones as they pop up. Uh, there are a little, you know, kind of fewer bones and, you know, with, with salmon, with whitefish, uh, they have a, a line of bones along the, the side called pin bones, and they're not really attached to, uh, or not strongly attached to the backbone. So they're sort of in that flesh. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when you buy a, a filet, they've removed those pin bones. Um, other places might leave the pin bones in um, just because it's, uh, you know, less processed to do that. So we've got our, our white fish here. And what I'm using is, uh, this is a recipe from our Eat Wisconsin Fish uh, website. It is the smoked fish dip. And, you know, another thing I like about this is, hey, if you can't access uh, smoked fish in your local, local uh, grocery store, uh, maybe you can find some other smoked fish, uh, maybe a smoked salmon, uh, maybe you smoke your own fish. Um, so you can really use what is available. 